What is going on, everybody? And welcome back to another video. Today, I wanted to talk about some mistakes that I've made in Lost Ark that really set me back a lot. So, here are six mistakes that you may also be making and how to fix them. And as always, before we start, if you lovely people haven't already, please subscribe. You can do it in the bottom or in the bottom right of the video, please. I shall pause as I shamelessly wait. <clears throat> okay, now on to the video. Number one, not having a Chaos Dungeon build. I was that guy that refused to make a Chaos Dungeon build. Preemptive Strike, Contender, psh, I don't need that. What am I going to do, save two seconds of my Chaos Dungeon time? That's a waste. You know what is a waste? Me not getting Preemptive Strike and Contender and whatnot. Getting a proper Chaos Dungeon build will save you so much time when you consider the multiple alts you have and if you do it every day. Another thing is it just feels good. The one shots, the AOE skills give you a huge dopamine rush. You're going to want to do them and enjoy your chaos dungeon. Trust me. So what should you do? Go to the trusty old Lost Ark Nexus site, find your class, and they provide a chaos dungeon build for a reason. Copy it and set it as a second preset that you can swap to whenever you're ready to run those pesky chaos dungeons. Number two, unlocking just every card. Now this pertains a lot more to new players, but can be for some veterans who haven't activated a lot of combat stat bonuses, things like that. If you haven't, make sure you check out my ultimate cards guide so you know everything about cards. What I didn't mention in that video is that you can favorite some cards. In the card UI, there is an icon on the top left of the card that you can click on. That is how you favorite a card. Now, why is favoriting a card useful? Favoriting cards will allow you to visually see the card you need whenever you obtain them. If you're desperately looking for a Thamon card like I am, just favorite it and eventually, right, hopefully eventually, one will show up and you will know that you have the card now. Only unlock that card and put the rest of the cards that are unmarked in your storage. Why not unlock every card? Great question. The greedy bastards at Smilegate set a storage limit on how many cards you can unlock. Trying to unlock more costs blue crystals, which you can buy with real money or with gold. Because of this storage limit, it is optimal to only unlock cards that you actually need. And again, if you don't know which cards you actually need, make sure to check out the Ultimate Cards Guide video. All right, number three, buying Crystalline Aura when you don't have enough gold. Crystalline Aura is another predatory system set in place to make Smilegate money. Sometimes, they give you free Crystalline Aura during a trial period so you could get a little taste of the convenience. And then, when they take it away, now they expect you to be completely dependent on it, which just forces you to spend gold or real money to buy more. Yeah, it's pretty messed up. So, my advice is this. Crystalline Aura makes your life easier by, you know, being able to repair in the raid, which... I think it's the dumbest thing ever, by the way. You should be able to repair. But also you can have more pet storage, faster life skill generation, access remote storage quickly, yada, yada, yada. It's all wonderful, but it's not a necessity. If you don't have the gold to spare, it is not worth to buy the aura every 30 days. Some people don't even play every day or take a break. Then it's even more not worth it. Prioritize your gold in things that actually matter first. I plan on making a gold guide, so stay tuned for that. Number four, not taking advantage of the much cheaper Prime Fusion materials in 
Mari's shop, the goat. Now, if you are a new player who hasn't reached a con gear, you're probably scratching your bald head right now, but no worries. Eventually, you will want to know this too. Orejas are way too expensive in the auction house. So, if you have morals, don't RMT. Your choices are to bite the bullet and buy auction house ones. You can life skill and craft your own, or you can buy from the Mari shop. At this time of the recording, buying from Mari shop is 35 gold per fusion material, while the auction house in North America East is 65 gold per fusion material. That is nearly half the price. Buy from Mari shop first before looking at the auction house. And whoa, and moving on to number five, we got a little bit of a spoiler there, but hold on, hold on. Moving on to number five, using the Super Makoko Express Pass, or any pass for that matter, on a character that you don't fully understand. Unfortunately, I received a YouTube comment of a new player doing this, and it really breaks my heart. It really does, hearing this stuff. So. This is a PSA for others to not make the same mistake. Make sure that you know your class. Make sure you like the class and, you know, because you will be stuck with it for a very, very long time. A lot of gold will be spent investing in that character to treat it like your baby. And finally, possibly the worst mistake of all time in this game. That is number six, FOMO, fear of missing out. Please, do not FOMO in this game. It will end horribly for you. You will not have a good time and burning out is inevitable. It is okay to not do the newest content when it releases. Would it be nice if upgrading your characters was easier so everyone can enjoy new content at the same time? Of course. But, unfortunately, that is not how it works currently. Play at your own pace. I promise that you will enjoy the game and continue playing the game for longer when you take it slower. And, you know, it respects your time. Because we all know that this game doesn't respect your time at all. Anyway, that was the end of this video. And now you got the spoilers. I hope this was helpful. And if it was, and you still didn't do it in the beginning, what are you doing, sir or ma'am? Please, let's all click on that subscribe and like button so I know exactly what you all like and don't like. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.